if I have low NAD, right, I, I get my mm -hmm. test, I get the result. So what can I do to raise my NAD levels? Well, there are, there are many things you can do, fortunately. Um, mm. And obviously, you want to have a healthy lifestyle, exercise more, uh, eat less, and stay healthy, and sleep well. All these lifestyle um, uh, activities um, should be good uh, to boost your own D uh, levels. Mm. But I think that, that can really only do so much. And mm -hmm. The best solution we have now is um, NAD supplementation uh, in terms of uh, precursors or uh, other supplements that can uh, reduce the uh, degradation of NAD. Mm. And so let's talk about a little bit about the causes of uh, NAD deficiency. Mm. And I think there are at least three different causes. The first one is the neck of the building blocks uh, of NAD, and these are the NAD precursors, like NMN, NR, you know, niacin, and, mm. and so on. And we, as we age, we need more of these building blocks uh, for our cells to make NAD. And I think there's no doubt about that. The second uh, potential cause of uh, NAD deficiency is to reduce the expression of the enzymes that make an NAD. And if you, you can have as much building blocks as you want, but if you don't have the enzymes or the machines mm -hmm. that make an NAD, you're not gonna have enough, right? Mm -hmm. And finally, the third cause of NAD deficiency is uh, the enzymes that can break down uh, NAD or NAD degrading enzymes, sometimes mm -hmm. it's called NADAs for, for, for scientists. And there are a number of them. The most um, important one is probably a molecule called CD38. Mm -hmm. And CD38 increases uh, uh, over age, and it's uh, up and regulated by, you know, in, in a number of situations, especially uh, uh, inflammation. Mm -hmm. So when you uh, CD38 level is high, you uh, as you make more NAD and they are um, broken down or eaten by uh, this NAD uh, degrading enzymes. So in balance, again, your levels uh, can stay mm -hmm. low. So the unfortunately, we don't know what causes. Uh, NAD deficiency in a given individual. And mm -hmm. there's no good way to predict uh, which cause is more important in an in individual. Mm -hmm. So I think my solution is let's try to uh, uh, tackle the problem using the solutions we have. We can try the precursors and we can couple that with uh, inhibitors for, uh, let's say, CD38 or the NAD degrading in, in, in that. And yeah, many supplements that can, uh, can help on, on that. So the, the key is, you know, find, to find out where you stand, are you at the optimum level? Mm. And then try to use uh, one or multiple uh, of the available strategies uh, to boost your NAD. And then test it again. Mm. If it works, great, uh, keep on doing that. If it doesn't work, mm. uh, you may need to make an adjustment. In a good proportion of individuals, just by giving them some NAD precursors, uh, we can boost their NAD level to much, much higher than the uh, lower end of the optimum, much higher than 34 micromole. Mm. And we have done that again and again. However, in other individuals, it can be extremely difficult. And I have one, uh, one customer who, who is in her uh, you know, late 60s, and she had a very low levels of NAD. And we, we tried a different type of supplements at the beginning. And although we were able to increase her NAD level and 
gradually, but it was still far below the optimum level. At the end, we had to use a combination of multiple products. And now her level is, you know, 70 some micromoles, you know, twice mm -hmm. the minimum uh, optimum uh, uh, level. And I, I think it, it can be done. Is it takes some uh, trial and, mm -hmm. and until you find the solution that works for you. It has to be personalized. It has to be coupled with testing. So you know whether what you are doing is working or not for you, not for another person. Whatever works for another person may or may not work for you. That's why personalization is so critical. Right. So actually, I said it was the last NAD, but, but I have, you, you reminded me of one other one. So do you, how often should we take our, an NAD test? I mean, like how stable is NAD over time? And so should we take it once a month, every six months or any comment? Yeah, I do. Uh, so um, so uh, let's say it, it takes about two, two to four weeks uh, to boost your NAD if you are taking supplements. And if it doesn't work after four weeks and the chance for it to, uh, to work is not very high. And mm. you, you, may, you may go up a little, a little more after four weeks. But I, I think uh, you, you can take a test you know, before the supplementation. Mm -hmm. uh, you can take a test one month after the supplementation. And now, once you get your levels up, it actually takes quite a while for the NAD level to uh, level off. It, it takes four to six weeks, maybe even longer, for the NAD level to go back to the baseline. That's the good news. Mm -hmm. you, know, you, you don't need to worry about, oh, I forgot to take my uh, NAD supplement for a day or two or even a week. And that's not going to uh, decrease your uh, intracellular NAD level very much, okay? <laughs> Obviously, don't expect to get your level up and then forget about it. It's, I'm going to be good for life. I mean, that's, that's not going to happen, okay? Right. Don't, don't stop for more than, you know, two to four weeks, um, if you can help. And <laughs> it, it's, it's better to, if you, you know, for whatever reason, either economic reasons or uh, some some other reasons you are traveling or, and, and so on, you can, you know, if you have to stop for a couple of weeks, it's probably okay. Um, but I rather prefer that you, you know, keep it stable, so don't need to cycle up and down um, because our cells need NAD all the time, not mm -hmm. only when you are trying to get it up. And I think it's also easier to boost the level up when you are still at the reasonably uh, a reasonable level instead of mm. going all the way back to baseline. So, and right. um, I, I think if you maintain your supplementation schedule, your activities in, uh, in a similar way, you probably can get by with uh, one test a year, mm -hmm. but anytime if you change your product or you change your dosage, I would recommend uh, to take a test after you know, four weeks. It's, right. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes, that makes sense. And, that, and thank you very much. That was, uh, yeah, it was a great explanation and very interesting. I hope that you found the video informative. Professor Sher is very generous to offer a 10% discount code to our audience for all the tests. Please find the discount code and details in the description. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.